If you spent any time online today, you may have seen the great guac debate. It began when the New York Times tweeted out a recipe that suggested, quote, adding green peas to your guacamole is a good idea. It said, trust us. The tweet sparked a wave of backlash, apparently from guacamole purists. The controversy even reached the White House, where President Obama tweeted, respect the New York Times, but not buying peas in guac, onions, garlic, hot peppers, classic. The question remains, should we give peas a chance? One of the critical questions of our day. Caitlin Fish, CBSN producer and in-house guacamole expert, is here. What did you make? So I wouldn't say I'm an expert, but I do love to cook. And what I did was I took the recipe from the New York Times, went home, made it myself with the exact ingredients, and then we went and got a store, uh, basically a store made, you know, your traditional guacamole, yeah. and they look really different. They really do. Totally. And I, mean, I personally think they taste about the same. Really? But they look really different. This looks very good, Caitlin. You right? made that yourself? I did. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. nice. Not too bad. Did, so you've tried it. You've tried both. So yeah, I've tried both. And this is obviously a lot more blended. This is a little bit more chunky because of what they've put in it. The peas are the key ingredient. They're yeah. supposed to replace some of the avocado, which I think is actually to take out some of the fat that the avocado okay. adds. But it, it makes it a pretty bright green color, and you really can't complain about the way it looks. So what? So what else? And what else is in there besides the peas? So there's peas. They asked to top it with sunflower seeds, which I also found a little interesting. Oh, but yeah. it's got your traditional elements, you know, avocado, jalapeno, cilantro, lime juice. That's what you'd find in a typical guacamole. A normal guacamole probably has tomatoes and peppers. What's the verdict? I agree. And sorry to talk with my mouth full. That's okay. It does taste similar, I think, to regular guac. Mm -hmm. But it sounds weird putting the peas in. It does, right? Um, so people so are outraged over the peas. But they're outraged. not bad. Yeah. That's just it. Why did when did this blow up online? It was this morning, right? So it came out this morning on the New York Times. Excuse my chewing. That's all right. And <laughs> It, it took the internet by storm. Here, look, it, you can see it a little bit better there. <laughs> it went a little crazy. Yeah. Um, people are very territorial of their guacamole. And, uh, you know, <laughs> you got everyone from President Obama eventually weighing in to chefs and food bloggers and then your average everyday person on Twitter who was pretty mad that New York Times wanted you to mess with a normal guacamole. This has some heat to it, does it not? It does. It has roasted uh, jalapeno peppers. Okay. So. Mosh, did you want to try some? You're he's so big on this segment. What? I, he's he's going to cross in front of the cameras, which yeah. Rob is not mm -hmm. going to like at all, no, but you can no, try no. some. Are you sure you want to try some? <laughs> it's good, Caitlin. I like it. Thank and, you. And, and we should um, note, it just sounds uh, totally different. Economically, yes. Guacamole, uh, avocado prices have gone through the roof. Oh, so we're looking for alternates. Potentially. But then once you pay for all of those ingredients, I promise right. you it's a lot more expensive than buying a $5 container of uh, store-bought guacamole. All right. Examining the important issues of our day. <laughs>